Hello Leo, welcome to Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Today I'm presenting your reading for the upcoming week. What to expect in your emotional field, what you'll be feeling like overall, what you'll have to be dealing with, you know. We're expecting good vibrations of course, messages of healing and love and transformation. So what I'm going to do right now, Leo, is to kind of shuffle these is to shuffle these cards and lay your reading out on this table here shuffling might take a while and so i pause the video shuffle um get gather some cards together and then i'll come back and interpret what i have the cards that um come out right so that's how i do thank you so much for tuning in and i really hope that this is a blessed reading that resonates well with you so see you in a few minutes. Leo, I shuffle the cards. And at first my energy was very stuck and feeling trapped in you. Like I can feel how you're feeling. I don't know if I'm wrong, honestly. But I feel strongly like you're being attacked by something that you created on the inside. I feel like something is over, imagine darkness. I feel like you might be going through depression in your emotional body right now. You might be trying to feel on the outside more pleasant and stuff, like barely. I feel like you're even attracting to you people that reinforce your beliefs of why you feel depressed. So there's internal torment and there's external evidence of it as well. So I feel like you're going through a, a time where you're being at, eaten alive. It's like you're being engulfed and like, ooh, like something is swallowed, like you're being swallowed by something. Like you're faced with a trial. <laughs> you're faced with overcoming. I feel like this, is, this might be the toughest part of your, your fight that you're going through. I feel like you created something that you're dealing with now. At first it was feeling like you were in a mind, a mind that you're digging for something. So I was saying maybe you're trying to find your treasure, you're trying to find your gold, your worth, your value, maybe your purpose. But then you get to a place where everything started to cave in, in on you. And then I was feeling like you're, you're a chemist or something that something like that, a chemist, and you were like in your lab, probably underground, it just feels like you're alone working, creating something. And then the thing that you wanted to create, it didn't turn out that way. And then the thing, so what you created, it sort of started to attack you in a sense, to turn around on you as if it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to turn out. It might cause you to want to give in, because it feels so much powerful, more powerful than you. So, that's, but yes, I'm, I want you to know that when you get to this place, Leo, because even in depression, there comes a place of light. I feel like you're working on your values. You're working on upgrading. You're like, just like everyone else on earth is going through they're on their path and there comes battles that they have to face. But maybe this is your toughest battle really at this point. Up to this point, this is your toughest battle because maybe it's internal. Or it is. it seems inter internal. I feel you could be dealing with murky water that has been trapped underground and now it's beginning to just overpour. So maybe it's memories or traumas that are coming and attacking you i feel like it's an attack and it hurts you it hurts you in internally and so it reflects people around you kind of treat you the same way so i'm saying i want you to go back to the source to that that thing that guided you to want to create or to, to explore in the first place don't give up, don't give in. When we're searching, when we get to the five, it means that we've been physically actively putting in the work to create what we want. 
Now this might be a bump in the road, really. You're, you're at a place where you can't really get over that cliff. You can't seem to see the light over the, that side. So you feel like when you can't even put your foot up to climb, really. Because you're going to just fall in. That's how you feel like you keep falling into something. This represents uh, Leo energy as well. This is fire. But remember that fire also, even though it burns, it, it represents rebirth, a new life, new creation. So I want you to see the transformation that this, that this feeling of depression is bringing to you. Remember that going through something, it's a breakthrough. Like fire burns the forest and then new life springs forth. So I feel like maybe you're in a res mode of resistance really. You're resisting what's coming into you because it feels bad. It feels bad. So I feel like maybe you're, you're at a very great place even though it feels bad because this is an opportunity for you to transmute, to transform this feeling into something good. But it is because you're really in such a powerful place of resisting it, fighting against the feelings, whatever is coming up to you that makes it stronger it's like quicksand yes that's the feeling it feels like quicksand something that is eating you really and the more you fight against it is the more you feel eaten by it so feel i feel like you should just give allow it to be settle even when, if, the, if, the, if you're dealing with depression and you're dealing with negative thoughts i want you to know that you have space for that you have space for it and that is a beautiful thing that a lot of us need to realize sometimes we feel like we're limited and we can't take it much more but there is space there is space for everything in you because you are all so come to a place of realizing that go back to that place that guided you to want to transform in the first place because it was a guidance from your spiritual your 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 spiritual guides really so you're not alone you have what it takes to get through this to win this fight to overcome feelings of unworthiness you're being guided to want the best for yourself and feel the best for yourself and in the end you will eventually come to this place the king of pentacles where you feel well you're surrounded by wealth where you're no longer accepting what you are thinking is not good for you. You're, you're unworthy, your feelings of not being worthy right now, Leo. This is saying like you, you feel very depressed and you're just walking, 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 waiting, waiting, waiting. And this is probably a good place to be actually. You're not, you're not resisting in this place you're just accepting but at the same time your values are right here but you're not really paying attention to them because you're being led by a feeling that is really not true to you it is just something that you picked up along the way let me clarify a little more leo if you want let me try to figure out what this six of this quicksand is what is this quicksand what is this depression that Leo is going through just feels like you don't feel good enough right now for something like you don't feel strong enough for the fight but it also feels very uplifting and positive because you will realize that you are and that is why you're in the position in the first place so it's just about realizing your powers Aligning with your boundaries, your stability, find, look at what is stable. So ex for example, if you're in a, in a quicksand situation, you have to ground yourself really. You have to not panic, be panicky. You have to find a place of stability in your mental place. Something that you can hold on to. You know, feel grounded, Ac like accept where you are right now. Don't resist it. Stand in your knowness. I am in this feeling of drowning. 
of being eaten, engulfed, maybe by flames. This is where I am. And then you ask, what do I want to do? What do I want to be out? Do I want to be out of this? But not in an urgent, panicky way. But just settle your mind. Settle. Look for what is in you that is grounding. It could be memories, feelings, people around you, something to laugh about, something to kind of hold you and not let torture and torment take you away from who you are meant to be. I feel like you're a powerful person and you kind of, um, you know magic as well. And that's why you were creating in the first place. But then maybe you feel like you made a wrong decision or something slipped up or something got out of hand. It's out of your control. And so you're trying to control it, but it's not working. And that's why you need to come to a place of grounding stability. Um, erecting foundations looking around you and seeing what is stable go out in nature connect with a tree I feel like a tree would be something that you need to really attach yourself to right now especially in the quicksand scenario if there are trees around you you there's hope right because there might be vines that a vine hanging from a tree that you could hang on to there are birds around you that there, there's help around you. So once you start focusing on this, stop focusing on this struggle, you begin to look for what can help you. Look for solutions, that grounding feeling of knowing. Like it feels like you are coming to your own rescue by being grounded. All right, cards, please clarify the five of diamonds. I feel like you feel alone, like as if you have given up on, you've been, I don't know, something, like something hurt you, I don't know, you're walking away, you feel out in the cold a bit, Leo. It sounds like a negative reading, I know this. It seems that way, like there's not a lot of joy and positivity, but this is just your state, your phase right now. And it is how you get through it that will bring you to, to see the light at the end of that tunnel. Five of diamonds for Leo's clarification. You feel out in the cold. You feel broken and bent and um, like this. Like this person. So it's as if you have what it takes. That is why you're at the fifth, the five stage. You have the ability to manifest and you manifest, but maybe it's not what you're looking to manifest. It's not what you expect. And so you feel like it hasn't come true. Like maybe you're someone that has friends around you, but then you say, I don't have any friends because they're not giving to you the, the help that you think a friend should give to you, but they're, they're really genuine friends. It's something similar to that. So you're not really seeing the value in your life because it's maybe not what you're, ex what you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for a bright spark of light, a star or something to shine down on you. I know you want to come to a place in yourself where you just feel love, contentment, Five of diamonds clarification, please, for Leo's. Please clarify the five of diamonds. Wow, look at this. This is you climbing out of this phase. When we're looking for our sense of value, our sense of worth, it can, as I said, it can be a mountain to climb over. Like, it can be harsh. But once you get even to the six of diamonds, the seven of diamonds, eight nine ten it's like you have made it through no you're at the, you're at the highest level in your being i feel like you need to work on establishing boundaries in yourself in your thought patterns the decisions that you make i know that there are things around you that you love to see 
You should appreciate them more. Appreciate more. Maybe your friends, appreciate your friends more. Appreciate your family a little bit more. And that will kind of lighten your heart. You know? That will kind of lighten your heart a bit to get into this place of accomplishment. Of getting there. Of making it through this feeling of depression. So you want to know your energy coming up? This is it. The Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is you glowing up, standing in your power, feeling good about yourself, attracting from the outside world how you feel. And it's like you're surrounded by beauty. It's that glow up. It's the glow up that you've been really looking for. Before you felt like this, I know you're going to feel like, let me get a clear, show you what the nine of pentacles look like on the deck. Quick and fast. Right? So, so you is like you were looking for a star because what you had around you are something that really stands out properly to say, hey, Leo, you're doing well, but you're not really appreciating what is around you at this point. Because maybe you feel like you're drowning in your own sorrows. So this is the Nine of Pentacles in Tarot. Right? So before you're, you're, you're like this, you're not seeing your value. And then you get to this place where you're glowing inside out. And you know why you feel this way? Because you're proud of your, yourself. You didn't give up. It is that which causes you to feel this way. It's nothing from the outside world that is influencing you. It's the girth, the worth, the, the, the integrity, the virtue of you actually holding on, of you settling and grounding yourself, of you finding balance in who you are. That is what causes you to pour up. And sometimes we miss that, that lesson and think it is something else that is supposed to appear to us really. And miss that it is actually the work that causes us to feel good about ourselves. It's us feeling pride. It's, it's something that no one can take out of you because you did it. And so you attract from the environment no less than who you are. You Sometimes we go through this phase, man, it's okay. But greater things are coming for you, clearly, right? So I'm just here to tell you that if you're in that stage of feeling stuck or feeling burnt or eaten by flames or swallowed by quicksand, you're, you're doing well and you want, you're balancing, you're grounding your energies, you're finding ways to ground. You know, you're listening to guidance from spirits and angels around you that's helping you to really ground and stop fussing a bit so much. All right, so the three of diamonds here I feel like, as I said, this is your guidance. The three represents guidance from spirits, angels, and guides, you know, from that are around us, our ancestors. So let us really clarify who is helping you. What energy is helping Leo through this? What energy is guiding Leo? What is the three of pentacles? Please, please give me a card. Let's see what this is. I'm not sure about that, but let's try it. Three of Pentacles card. Please clarify. Okay, so you got the Jack. Is it a love? Is it a physical person that's around you that's guiding you to, or that even pushed you into this energy in the first place? Someone that broke your heart? Uh, someone you loved? Someone that had feelings for you too. It's caused you to really harden your heart and start to work on something else. But you did know that that something else would, would be transforming your life. You just thought, hey, I'm going to be doing this because I'm hurt. But it's actually the universe coming into you to elevate some, elevate your emotions maybe to help you to ground I feel oops I feel it has a lot to do with you being grounded really finding balance here's the four of cups energy in your reading B 
been grounded. I did mention a tree earlier. There's places of solace, solitude, you know, that you can find being balanced in yourself. Knowing when to say no, know what to accept even from yourself. Because we start with ourselves first. I feel like you're 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 more powerful emotionally now. Like you're just really not accepting any and anything that comes to you. You're sitting and reevaluating yourself first. You're feeling out your heart. I feel like you're feeling out your heart. You're feel I don't know how that resonate with you. You're feeling out your heart. Maybe your heart was hurt. And now here you are. But brighter days are ahead because this represents grounding. And grounding does come with being in balance. Swords. So this is swords energy. Both of these are. So you're standing firm. You have so because you're you were you went through a sort of a depression that caused you to have to ground yourself or else you would you'd have been eaten alive. It puts you in this place of more power. Because you've aligned with your 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 balance, you your um your boundaries, your stability. You know what's good for you, what to let in. Maybe you you're not letting in these kind of people in your energy anymore that hurt you. If they the, even though they come with a face of pity like puppy dog eyes and everything and offering you their love you're like don't do that before my heart would have easily taken you back but now i'm more stable you're more you're stable you're fierce you go after what you want you feel more trusting it's always like you're, you're grounded in something other than something outside of yourself that you had to find that makes you feel more warrior like more able to look after yourself and this is a beautiful place to be so as within so without you grounded yourself inside and so you are now a sitting representative of 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 this energy of being grounded you're moving into a place you're moving away from being so too vulnerable and moving into a place of being stable you're maybe establishing something now like maybe you are starting a business something that makes you so it's it's reflecting on your outside I don't know maybe you're starting a business so maybe this hurt as I said this hurt feeling came into you which caused you to go into this depressive mode which was terrible, but it caused you to be grounded. It caused you to be the king of pentacles, to focus more on your finances, to be the king of swords, to be the knight of swords, to be someone that connects with their energy, connects with their heart more, Go inside for guidance. The Hierophant is here. It's like justice. It's like it is done. It is as if the Hierophant is the person that knights the night. Like you have been through it. So I knight thee stable. I knight, I knight thee worthy, valuable, prince, king. You know, that's what I feel that this energy is saying. That you've done it. It's like a confirmation card to say, yes, you are this. You are this. You're coming into this place, Leo. Look at the amount of the amount of yellow in your card. Strong Leo energy. Vibrancy. You're coming back to yourself. To your true place of worth, of self-love, of new beginnings, of brand new beautiful energies coming into you of wealth 
new ideas of wealth. So the breakdown that you went through was to really elevate you in a sense. Okay, or if you're going through that, just know that. Any final messages for Leo before I'm closing out right now? Any final messages? Any final messages for Leo? Thank you. The two of wands. And I also have at the bottom of this deck here, the ace of hearts. Two of wands is that Leo energy again, that fire. So it feels like you're aligning with the, your true nature. You are, you cre you're a creative person. You create ideas for wealth and stability. You're aligning with your gifts as, an, as a creator, as a chemist, and that works with magic, really. The most important thing is that you're loving yourself. You have un unleashed or uncovered a space in you of love that no one can take away. It's that, it's that born, you are a child of God energy. That's, it, it's something that is within you, like it's in with everyone else. And now you've begun to see this. Any last messages from the tarot for Leo? Thank you. Last messages for this energy of Leo. The Knight of Pentacles. You can see this person is coming in. You feel more guarded. It's as if, it's, if this could be you that's moving and as if you've adopted a new way of life of going through life guarded proud feeling worthwhile valuable rich you've decided to maybe be a loner for a while and just go through life working on yourself you're growing as well you're flourishing Whatever you're working on is, is, is flourishing. It's succeeding. You're succeeding. Any other messages from Leo, please? Thank you. bottom of the deck we have the, the chariot this is a cancerian card a water card it could mean it really could mean that you're coming in closer connection to your heart space listening to your heart more listening to your internal wisdom or it could be someone coming into you a cancer a water sign more likely a cancer someone is coming into you with wisdom words of encouragement wisdom strength it's like an an a high ranking angel let's see you also came what came out was the, oops the queen of pentacles so you have both the king and the queen now on your deck you have the king of pentacles the queen of pentacles you have the knight of pentacles so if you were working on your values and you felt stuck oh my gosh all of your values are come true believe me you have the nine of pentacles amazing glowing up standing in your power just be you i feel like this is goku energy when goku powers up and is glowing from inside out so this is your energy upcoming pure pentacles pure value so hang on in there if you're going through it that's if you are you know hm. all right so we have this might be what you are going through. I did mention this earlier. Heartbreak. I'm sorry. 
but know that the universe sends us the tests for us to really power up okay so it feels like you're swimming in this in these feelings but I want, this is all you coming up you deserve a queen or a king that is high value that will transform your life so you're probably moving into that space right now moving following your gifts your talents you know elevating and as I said the chariot represents movement as well you could really be moving into higher power transformation okay Leo thank you for listening thank you Leo all the best to you for listening um, keep strong <laughs> keep strong I just got a bunch more um, pentacle cards along with the world cards I don't know if you might be traveling if you're finding balance inside outside there's a lot of pentacles coming up for you and that's where you were feeling stuck at in the first place remember that pentacles could could be money or it could be or, or anything that is valuable and I think that there's a lot coming for you and that's why you were guided to this place of t whatever you're dealing with you're being guided through it the world card signifies traveling things coming around full circle for you someone coming into you we did get the chariot card saying someone might be coming traveling you might be traveling to meet with people that help you to raise your standards raise your vibrations it could be your spirit guides really talking about how to really get you into your true power Leo okay Leo there's a lot of power here this is the ten of pentacles this is like high value like the sun shines for you kind of energy you walk and you feel brand new on the street people look at you different you're smiling even if you're not smiling you're you're emitting a glow about you remember this all starts with you being grounded finding your stability of the trials and tribulations so that's what I have for you today, Leo. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I really hope that this message was helpful to you. So this is your upcoming energy for the, for the week. Thank you for listening. All the best to you. Much love. Bye.